Hello everybody and welcome back to another character showcase. Today we are checking out the Preacher, which is a character kind of dogma related. We've got this umbilical cord and rather than firing tears that we can whip at enemies that's got the static effect. And we've also got Preach here, which allows us to grab enemies and turn them into angels. But I've, I've played around with this character a little bit in testing and I found him a bit weak. He's a bit difficult to play, so I'm going to give ourselves the angel wings here, which is going to replace our tears with piercing feathers, which will only be from the angels that we spawn. And we can double tap to perform dogma related attacks. I just thought it'd be on theme and kind of interesting, so we can summon these little fellas here. And you'll see in a moment once I uh, get the opportunity to... Ooh, there you go. Get the opportunity to use preach. We'll see what that does. Yeah, and there's peach creep. Preach and peach. So basically what we want to be doing is grabbing them and then for a short amount of time we can't fire uh, But they will eventually become an angel and there's three different types of angels what I've, from what I've seen so far There is this one here, which is the dogma brimstone Which is definitely the strongest but also kind of the hardest to keep alive We also get a brimstone of our own from dogma there, although I don't know why it was not dogma fired It should have been like the dogma brimstone there. Ooh, this is good This is good stuff. Get a good amount of money here. Try and grab as much of it as I can, but I don't want to blow myself up too much. But the rock for specifically, for some reason, just gives you an insane amount of money. So there you go. We've got a crap ton of money. I don't really care about school bag that much. We can charge this guy before going into the next room. The thing that I find hard about it is the angels have very limited HP. They can only take four hits and... It's very, very hard to kill, like, flies and stuff because of the charge-up. Because when you charge it up, it moves it out in front of you. In large rooms like this, not a problem. In smaller rooms, it becomes a little, a little bit touchy. A little bit touch and go. Like that, look. So, it does do a little blast when it gets hit, which is nice. So, it does still kill things around it. Okay. But you can see this guy's taking some damage here at the minute, which isn't ideal for us but we'll go for the boss and see if we can make this work there you go we didn't quite lose him and we get ourselves some hp as well good stuff okay let's keep on moving down so yeah definitely having the the angel's feather item just gives us a little bit more leeway to play around with which i think is very nice especially in the brimstone attack that we just did there but as you can see a little bit hard to uh, keep that going but in our next room, we'll, we'll grab another unsuspected victim. If we can. Yeah, there you go. We'll grab you. Trail you around. And we're going to hopefully show off some of the other angel types as well here. So here we go. We've got another one here. So this is another charge up one. But this one fires a barrage of feathers. I found this one to be really, really good too. Um, the charge up ones are definitely the worst of the bunch. The, the, there's one that fires god headshots, I believe. Um... The charge up ones are definitely the most difficult to utilize, but they can really dish out some insane damage, so I, I give it more leeway. I unfortunately did just get hit there to the poison from that little poison pot thing, which I didn't actually know was something that could hurt me, which is a bit of a shame. Let's see if I can buy a key from in here. Of course I can. I will grab that though. Thank you. And I'll grab that as well. This is an interesting item that will uh, upgrade an item's tier when we grab it, or try to. Ah, no, 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 thank you. Oh, wait, they die on the tiny spiders? Okay, that makes things more difficult. The, when we have just our little attack, it doesn't do an awful lot, I'll be honest. The little attack isn't very good. The little whip that we've got going on. So we do want to try and have an angel out pretty much every time that we can. But it's not always as easy as keeping them alive. It's, it's a little it's a little trickier than that. A hey, burn arrow, that could be good for us, right? No, doesn't matter. It's dry baby now. <laughs> it's dry baby now. I forgot already that we had this um, molten core cube. Molten cube, whatever it's called, item. Oh, I just wasted that. There you go, grab you as well for the boss fight. You become my angel. And we got this guy again, which is pretty good. Nice few extra pennies there, lovely. 
Like, as you can see, it is, it is insane at dealing damage. It's just not so easy at keeping it alive because it just... You push it out so far away from your body when you utilize it. I really, really wish it would stay localized to you or at least stay close. Because when it's so far away like that... Ooh, we get Chimichiri. I like that. By the way, there is one problem with this active, uh, this, uh, active item we have right now. It can upgrade a passive item into an active and destroy itself, which is something I really wish would change about it, but I don't think it's going to. I've complained about it a few times and it hasn't changed, so... Ooh, big pill. Oh, big balls of steel pill. Very nice. That was rather good as well. We could even do a sack room with the amount of health we have right now, to be honest. We got Chimichiri freezing these enemies at the start of each room here. And we got Preach ready again. Let's grab you. Boom, bow. And you become this guy. Got him. The Brimstone is so lovely. Oh, come on, we need a key game. We are in dire need of a key. Yeah, got him. Oh, that's not a key. That's a heart. Yeah, the small enemies are the worst ones for us right now. Lovely. Dude, we need two keys. Proper got to keep our distance from enemies. It's, it's it's a tricky one. Dude, that's another bomb. Not what I need. Don't let me skip out on an item room, please. I'm impoverished. I need this. <laughs> you evil. You evil game. You knew what you were doing. And you so blatantly just did it anyways. We got a new friend. We got the same guy again this time. Oh, dude. See, that that's where it really annoys me. I just walked into that room, and just by holding fire, he automatically walked into another enemy. Now that's what we want to see. Hey, you managed to keep him alive. We did get ourselves a devil deal here. This is going to get upgraded to quality 3. Spoiled milk. Decent. I'll check what's going on in here because we've got some potentially good upgrades here. Both of these get upgraded to quality 3. 9 lives is absolutely fine by me. And we unfortunately got an active item, so that's that gone. Right, what does this active item do? Single use. On use grants a uh, random permanent plus 5 bonus to damage, luck, or tears. Hey, baby, we got damage. We got damage. Okay, let's try and get ourselves a secret room that could maybe give us a key. Um, but yeah, unfortunately, the molten cube is now gone. We didn't get to use that for as long as I was hoping, but it is what it is. Uh, probably here, right? Yeah, this allows us to get into the thingy room anyways without a key. It's good, good. We at least get our item room. We ain't getting our shop, the Ouija board. Ouija board is pretty good. I like having um, spectral tears here. That's going to be really, really nice. Right. Let's get gone. So far, so good. So far, so good. I'm liking this. The, the angel's wings are definitely not helping as much as I thought they would, considering it's a quality 4 item. But then again, not being able to shoot conventionally is going to do that. I think we've got misfortune this floor, which is like minus 5 luck, right? No, I don't know what curse that was. It didn't. It didn't appear. There's, there's a, there's a bunch of curses that have been added by Eclipse mod that I really need to um, turn off. I did have them turned off at one point and they re-enabled themselves. I'm not entirely sure how or why, but I really need to turn them back off because they really mess with some of my other mods. And some of them are like duplicate curses as well. There's some that do the same things as the curse collection. So, not much point keeping keeping them uh, turned on at the same time. Item room again we'd like to get into. Dude, having Spectral here is going to make this so much easier. So much easier. Pop in here. Rocket in a jar. Doubt I'll use that much, but thank you. Maybe if it was an angelic rocket. See, that's... Having Spectral there just makes this infinitely easier. 
The spectral plus having the enemies frozen at the start of the room is another big thing as well, actually. Oh, dude. Just, I need so many keys. <laughs> I'm so, so in need of keys. The game is just not giving me them. Desperately in need of a key. Ooh. You could be a good a good place to drop some drop some cash. I'll see if I get keys first though. That is at least a key. What are you guys doing? Aw oh, dude, I can't believe you. Get preached. I'm gonna drag you around and you're gonna become my friend now. There you go. Ah, the brimstone one. Brimstone one's one that, I, like I said, I just, I can't get behind. It just, it takes so long to charge. It's, it, it can, it can dish out some power. It can really dish it out to a boss if you get it right. But for regular rooms, it's too difficult to utilize. Right, we crack that open. See what we get. We get the clicker. Um, I'm, I don't, I'm not a big fan of the clicker, but I'll take it because we need some extra damage. Steam sale is rather nice here. Yeah, the clicker just allows us, affords us to do a little bit more damage. I know that I've, I've had a few comments from people saying they really don't like the noise clicker makes, like the clicking sound, because it's a bit distracting. I completely understand that, but in this scenario, I think it's an item we need to grab just as an extra bit of some way to deal damage. See, like, that guy just jumped right into my guy there. Ain't much I can do about that. No, you killed him. Spectral on that attack's really nice as well. Never gets wasted. Health is looking rather healthy. Preach is ready again. And we'll grab that guy. Beautiful. Ah, oh, Brimstone one again. And it's Mozzie as well, and I instantly hit myself there. Okay, to be fair, to be fair to you fella, to be fair, that wasn't bad. Pumps heal, not the best of the best. I think we're ready to go. I think we're ready to go. Right, down we go. Oh, this has been a, it's kind of a challenge run in, in a way. Like, I know that obviously saying that's a bit stupid considering my current HP situation, but I think I've just gotten quite lucky. I think overall this guy can be a bit of a challenge, especially without angel wings. Without angel wings, this, this would be a much different story. I'm definitely very, very happy to have gotten spectral. That has helped out immensely. The fire rate seems to be nice in the sort of speed that we're charging this up as well. Should have let that guy blow this up. Oh, that wasn't a secret room. Okay. I don't know why, but I really expected it would be. No! You got him killed again. How dare you? Okay, extra keys, and we're ready to preach once more. There you go. Then we leave, we just leave one enemy on their own. I don't know if the enemy type has anything to do with what preach fellow we get. We've not had the Godhead one once yet. It's like the one that I've been wanting to show off the most, and it just won't show up. By far the best one. Free lemonade. I mean, we don't have an active right now. So, I guess I'll take it. <laughs> it did do some good damage there, though, to be fair. To be fair to the Lemonade, I don't want to put disrespect on its name when it's doing that much for us. Right, there you go. Stay back, heathen. Don't make me preach you. Ow. 
Haha, as if I took damage there. Oh, god damn. Our, our shops have been abysmal. <laughs> Absolutely abysmal. Although, to be fair, to be fair, I do think the Bible is quite the vibe with this run, and it allows us to kill Mum in a single hit. And temporary flight is pretty decent, so. Do you know what? I'll take it in this scenario. I will take it in this scenario. I got hit there, but took it. This guy's going bye bye before this boss, I think. Yeah, I, I had a feeling. It's okay, we'll take on the boss man to man. Yeah, we are doing some very good damage to this guy, so I don't think we've got anything to worry about. Ow. I'm just getting donked there. Keys are plenty right now. Oh. Just a glorious devil deal. Tears up there. Tears up. Oh! No! <laughs> I verped it and left right as I was verping. I didn't expect that. My bad. I got a second tears up there that I completely wasted. Right, yet again. We take out everything and then we do that on the last enemy. I don't know if they can hit us while while we've got them tethered. I think they can. I imagine so. This one again. Give me the Godhead one. Please. I am sick of this angel. There is enemies in here. I do not want that, thank you. Ooh, I will, however, give that a quick cheeky little bomb. Unfortunate. It means like a 25% chance to get a hearst. It was pretty likely I was going to get at least one hearst there, but you never know that like 5% chance for a black heart. Oh, 1% chance for an extra try, baby. You never know what could happen. Damn you, why do you have to reach to the exact middle of the room? Multi dimensional baby could be interesting here. It's a good throw, my guy. It's a good throw. Chris, a circle brimstone around the player for six seconds. That seems pretty good for a boss fight. Alright, we'll grab this guy. I like the way they can't be killed while they're gra grabbed, because otherwise that would be annoying. Do brimstone one again? I mean, the brimstone one is, is, is doing some bits right now, so I'm not going to turn my nose up too soon at that. going on down here. Not much of anything, to be honest. Not much of anything. That's a bit of a shame. I did not want to buy that. My bad. That was a waste of money. I was just trying to get the pennies. Give me that back. Oh, man, if you can pull it off quick enough. Soiled heart there, lovely. Uh, if you can pull it off quick enough, this thing, this thing really works out. It's the fact that you can, like, brimstone and then manoeuvre the brimstone while you're while you're doing it. Because it, 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 in a way, it's kind of like having sort of anti-grav, but not quite. It's brimstone, but a bit wacky. Right, we've got the Bible, so that's an insta-kill on Mum, which is something that I still absolutely love being able to do. Nothing there is super speaking to me, so let's keep it going. Oop, I don't know what I did there, but I fired the complete wrong direction. The Godhead one would be so good right now, you know. Ah, damn it. Just check what this does. Uh, taking damage. Um, Uriel now spawns after five hits once per room. Spawns a friendly angelic baby once per room. That seems pretty cool. Preach. 
Haha, -ha, you grabbed me, but I've already grabbed you. Oh, you can still hurt me. I'm sorry I underestimated you. Hey, we finally got the Godhead one. The Godhead one's so good for our current situation. Also, there's an Eternal Heart back here. Don't, don't, don't hit my fella, please. Don't respect it. I want to keep him alive. Hey, more damage as well, baby. Okay, down we go. Remember, we can kill this mum with the Bible instantly as well. Tower, really? Oh my god, if we stand in the aura of this little fella here. Look at this. Brrr, become like a machine gun. I've only got one hit left in this bad boy though. I don't know what's going on with the amount of dips we're getting right now, but I like it. Banned card. Spawns two copies of this card. Oh, God. That's actually really cool, to be fair. Because you could basically get a really cool D20 game break going with this thing. That's a, that's a pretty cool idea. It's, it's kind of jank. It's kind of jank, but... I like it. It's interesting. Right, we went the wrong way this time around. Let's go back up this way. Yeah, if you get some sort of D20 build going on, that could be a very friendly thing to roll into. Ah, we lost him. Right, we'll grab this guy. And we didn't get the, the same one as last time. I was really hoping we get the Godhead one again, because clearly after using it, we're seeing the Godhead one's the best one for us. Not having to charge up is uh, a huge advantage. Oh, dude. Being able to home with these guys is, uh, is pretty awesome. I like that. Hey, we got an angelic baby. Do you stick around between rooms? You do. Very angel-themed run right now. I like it. I like the way our trinket just looks like a golden circle. You can barely see any detail on it. Really? We lost all of our poops as well. Something you never like to hear. Ah, there he goes, gone. Didn't think he'd be sticking around long. Come on. Do it for me, Godhead boy. Give me the little Godhead creature. No brimstone. Yes, baby! We got him again. Just makes our life so much easier. And smack that open. Speed is still a bit low at the minute. Ooh, book snacks bit another random active item on use. That's that's pretty intriguing for the Bible, to be honest. I'm just gonna spam the Bible like all the time and see what happens. Didn't see what it did there, but it did something. It did something. This gotta be the way to the boss, right? Oh, dude. I'm just gonna fight her. I can't be asked. I didn't have a Bible charge ready. Devil deal? Hello? Oh, dude, our devil deals have been so bad. <laughs> devil deals today have not been it. Right. We are good to go, though. Up we go. Last few floors.
we can do this. With a godhead one, it's going to be a cakewalk. It just depends how long we can keep it alive. If we can keep it alive, this one is going to carry us the whole way. We have another preach charge ready, though, so that's good. Got to be super careful about how I fire it. Not want to run it into an enemy. But for right now, I could also tap fire to keep it like closer to my body as well, which kind of works. It's not perfect, but it kind of works. Also, tap fire is going to trigger my angel's wing item more often too, which is nice. Yeah, I like that idea. The tap firing seems to work out really nicely for us. Okay. Didn't really know what the hell was going on with those groups of angels, but... Hey, her. Wasn't expecting you for some reason. I don't know really why I wasn't, but I really wasn't. Ow. No, you took away my best friend. Okay. I didn't even have the common DC to give me an item. Right, give me another godhead fella, and I'll I'll be satiated. Uh, excuse me? I grabbed onto my urn angel here. I'm not sure how this is going to work. Yeah, it just didn't. That's uh, a little frustrating. I grabbed onto my urn angel. So now I've got to recharge the whole active. Dude, drug giver, you've got to you've got to get out of here. Nope. Don't care for this room. Goodbye. Thank God you can still bomb on Cathedral. Oh, damn. Whoa, 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 whoa. The clicker plus uh, clicking on shielded enemies. Don't know why, but it, it lags the game like crazy. Okay. Made it through that. We don't have an angel with us right now, but I'm just going to say... YOLO BOLO and just go for it. We're doing good enough damage. I'm taking quite a bit of damage right now though. I will grab this little fella while he's around. Oh dude, I've taken so much damage here. I need to be so much more careful. This did not go well. Luckily, we got a godhead fella towards the end here, which has very much been an MVP for us. <laughs> Otherwise, I'd probably have died on that fight. That was... I lost a lot more health there than I should have done. I went into that a little more a little more confident than I probably should have. Boom. Chasm just gives us a chance, chance to fire shots that do way more damage, as long as that works for us right now, which... I'm hoping it does. That should be good. Okay. Chill, chill, chill. We are very low HP now, so just chill. This is going to be rough, isn't it? <laughs> Getting to the boss here is going to be rough, I feel like. That, that was awesome. That was so nice. Just wiped that entire room. Don't... Oh, dude. I never remember what these guys do. Sorry, I had to pause the sneeze real quick. Then probably have to do it again in a second. Oh, no. It's coming. Oh, my God. Just out of the blue. Baby, preach. Give me a friend. A godhead friend. Yes, baby. In our darkest hour. It gives us the godhead we need. Otherwise, we would be in a dark, dark place right now. Oh, dude, really? Let me do this whole room again, basically. So basically, I want to walk in, stay back. 
and just fire as much as I can. Hope it reaches every every corner of the room. Unfortunately, there's an invincible enemy there that kind of threw that plan into whack. Okay, that, that room I just don't even understand. <laughs> Same with that one, to be honest. There's just some generally some rooms I don't really understand what's going on in here. Oh my god, that's beautiful. No, we're getting low health on our fella here. I really don't want to lose him before the boss fight. No, he's only got half a heart left. He's gone. How dare you. How dare you. This is going to be bad. I don't know why I decided to lock myself in like this. Yeah, this was this was a bad way of doing that. And unfortunately, we didn't even get the Godhead fellow we needed. Half, honestly, half a heart there. A beautiful, beautiful thing to see. Okay. We are once again without... Dude, what the hell? Need to chill out, guys. Stop spawning stuff. We are once again without a friend, so we need to go back, get a few more charges, and try and grab one before the boss fight. Don't know how that's going to go, though, but dude... The soul heart there is uh, coming in clutch. Taking all the bombs I can here as well, because I think we're going to be stuck in a nine lives loop here, aren't we? Good. good. Heart to replace with coins. That seems risky. Ow. That was not good. Ooh, an item. Unfortunately, we get a room with no enemies to uh, use our preach on. Okay. This last room here has to be preachable enemies. It's nothing. It's goddamn nothing. Okay, so we're going to have to preach on one of the flies he spawns the moment he spawns it. No, no, no. Don't wreck my HP. I don't know what that means. I'm confused. Right. Oh, man. And then we gotta hope it's a godhead one, because otherwise it's gonna be kinda useless. We got him, we got him. It's a brimstone one, not the one we needed. We can get some damage off with it, but it's going to die very, very quickly. This is, yeah, this is going to be impossible. I, th I think we've basically just entered death loop now. I don't think we're going to be able to do this. Nine lives death loop is like one of the saddest things. I did forget we had um, rockets though, that's kind of nice. But... Doesn't mean much right now. I thought those rockets would do more, to be honest. Damn it. Yeah, okay, I'm calling it here. I, I, I'm not going to bother doing the entire lives because it's just going to be me dying over and over. Either way, hope you guys enjoyed this one. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one.